Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Strings and Gail. From the last tutorial that I uploaded on my YouTube channel, I talked about where the notes are located on the violin. But this time, I'm going to be teaching you how to create a vibrato. Vibrato Italiano! What the f*** I'm saying? Anyways, so what is vibrato and why is it important to learn this skill? A vibrato is about moving your left fingers backward and forward onto the fingerboard of your violin. So it, it looks like this. Not like this, guys. Oh my god, it's completely different. <laughs> vibrato from the word vibrate is about creating a vibration on your violin in order to create a more powerful or more smooth sound. It's actually one of the best recipes that helps musicians to show the emotions of the song. Just like when you're singing, for example, if you're going to sing Alleluia, if you're not going to use a vibration on your voice, it would, so it would sound like this. Alleluia. 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 <laughs> but, but if you put a vibration on your voice, it would sound like this. Alleluia. first my experiences on how I gained or how I achieved this skill. As you can see, I'm sitting next to the wall like a beauty queen. <laughs> Just kidding. So this is Wall and his name is Wally. From the word wall, his name is Wally. So say hi to my friend Wally. <laughs> Anyways, you might not believe me, but I used to use wall to successfully learn the vibrato on the violin. So what I had done before was I had to put the scroll of the violin. This is the scroll of the violin. So I had to put the scroll of the violin against the wall, just like this. Against the wall but it should be horizontal. It shouldn't be like this. It shouldn't be like that. It's a big no-no. So always remember that it should be horizontal, okay? Let's have a closer look. So I'm going to put my violin against the wall. So why do I need wall or why do we need wall? We need wall so that it would help us to hold the violin as well because it's actually hard for beginners to learn the vibrato on their own that's why i think wall is the best way to practice vibrato or to master vibrato so when you do a vibrato you just have to move backward and forward backward forward backward and forward motions onto the fingerboard of the violin but when you are doing backward and forward motion make sure that you are not moving away from a certain point for example if you are playing a t note on the violin which is this if you are playing the t note and if you are going to create a, vibra a vibrato on that note then make sure that you stayed on this note. But even though you are moving it, you are staying on that point, on that position. And you can also do it with the other fingers. Just making a backward, forward, backward, forward motion. You can start a slope slow point and you can make it faster when you feel like you can do it faster just like this 
then just try another finger and then another finger like your pinky finger this is the best way to strengthen your fingers muscles so you can do this every day so you would be able to achieve the vibrato on the violin now let's do the vibrato on the violin with a bow again put your violin against the wall and let's play the t note so what you're going to do is to create a backward and forward movement on the t note backward forward backward forward and then we are going to have the down bowing on the second string while we are doing the vibrato on the D note okay so let's do it slowly one two three play That is how it sounds like. And when we do it faster, it sounds like this. See the difference? You can do it on the other finger as well, on the other notes. Just do it wherever you like. Just make sure that you are doing a backward and forward movement on the note that you want to play. So let's say I'm going to play a T do re on the violin. When you are doing a vibrato make sure that your left hand is curved and your left fingers are curved so you would be able to make a vibrato because when you do this i have seen many musicians doing this they were doing this kind of vibrato and it's a bad practice you can't actually do a vibrato because you're blocking your hand your left hand from moving it's bad and I don't want you to learn this bad skill now that we just learned about doing a vibrato on the violin then let's apply this skill on a certain song entitled silent night it's a Christmas song and it's good for beginners to learn this song so we have the first part of the song the notes are on the other side of the screen so we have the first line Sol, la, sol, mi. You have to repeat it twice. Sol, la, sol, mi. We have a vibrato on the first note, sol, and a vibrato on the last note, mi. Next line is. We have a vibrato on the first note re and the last note t on the second line. Next line we have do, do, sol. We have a vibrato on first do note and a vibrato on a sol note. And then the last line we have la la do de la sol la sol mi. So we have a vibrato on the first la note, a vibrato on do note, a vibrato on sol note. And a vibrato on mi no. Let's try the second part. We have the first line. 
la la do ti la sol la sol so we have a vibrato on the first note la la a vibrato on do note do ti la sol a vibrato on sol note and a vibrato on mi note the second line we have re, re, fa. so we have a vibrato on the first note re and a vibrato on the last note fa and then on the next line we have re, di, do, mi. So we have a vibrato on do note and a vibrato on mi note. Re, re, ti, do, mi. And then the last line, do, sol, mi, sol, mi, mi, re, do. <laughs> we have do, sol, mi, sol. So we have a vibrato on the do, do note, vibrato on sol note, vibrato on sol note again, and vibrato on do note. Now I'm going to play the song with the bow so, so that you would be able to hear or feel the vibrato on the song Silent Mind. And so that you would be able to uh, determine the flow of the bowing of this song. So just listen carefully so that you will be able to feel the song itself. more fun to this song i'm going to play the backing track for this song and just play the song with the vibrato I hope you enjoyed learning a lot today before I end up this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more violin tutorials if you want to ask me something just comment or just follow my social medias just right here for more information and updates have a great day and see you on my next video bye